observing. Good morning, Pies, and welcome to Bullying Prevention Week here on Pies Unplugged. I'm Brooke. And I'm Madeline. Today is Tuesday, October 10th, 2017. Today is the first day of second quarter, so we are on our week one rotating schedule. Today's bullying prevention topic is what can you do? Everyone knows that bullying situations involve the student who's targeted and the student who's doing the bullying. Did you also know that many situations involve bystanders? Bystanders are students who are not involved directly but see what's happening. Bystanders are powerful. In fact, more than half of bullying situations will end if bystanders step in. Direct confrontation is one way to intervene. Indirect help, such as not encouraging the situation or offering support to the person being bullied, is also effective. Bystanders can also let other students know that bullying is not okay. What would you do if you saw a bank being robbed, or a house on fire, or a car go off the road? It might not be safe to rush into the scene, but you call 911, right? It's like when you see bullying. It might not be safe to jump into the situation at the moment, but you can still try to help the person being bullied. How? Tell an adult. Be a friend to beat the kid being bullied. Convince others to stand up against bullying. Watch other ideas. What other ideas do you have? Heroes and heroines don't need superpowers. They just need to do what they can, even a small step behind the scenes to help make a difference. Here are the four anti-bullying rules that must be followed by everyone. They include... We will not bully others. We will try to help students who are bullied. We will try to include students who are left out. If we know that somebody is being bullied, we will tell an adult at a school and an adult at home. For Pirates Unplugged, this has been Brooke McGee. And Madeline Erickson. How will you make a difference today? A new virus, unlike any other, has infiltrated schools through social media a pandemic quickly spreading around the world. Its origin is yet to be known. However, individuals with a history of negative and violent home environments are often more susceptible to contraction. This girl has been infected she is now host to the virus and risks spreading it to anyone. Every post the host makes and every text she sends exposes the virus to multiple people instantly. It is highly contagious and no one is immune. But some individuals may suffer more greatly from its side effects. The virus has chosen its victim. Carriers of the virus can be the least suspected of people and may even be unaware of their own infection. No one not even this girl's parents and teachers are aware that she is carrying such a deadly disease. Strains of this illness can be transferred by phone, email, and social media. Through wireless and satellite transmission, it can reach you at home, at school, or anywhere. The effects of the virus can take hours or days before getting out of control and causing serious damage to its victims. The virus feeds on those who are vulnerable to feeling emotions of hate, anger, envy, insecurity, 
and peer pressure. The effects have proven severe and could cause emotional scarring, creating long-term symptoms of depression and in some cases, suicide. But there is a way to fight against it. Fight the virus. You can put a stop to it. In support of Pink Shirt Day, join the battle against bullying. Write in pink to prevent further outbreaks of this pandemic. Protect yourself and report cases of the cyberbullying virus. <laughs>